Have a seat. Hiya. Morning. Where are we going today? Oh, we are going to Portland. Portland? Yeah. Portland? Yeah, okay. we're, we're around here to fishing. Alright, so Portland is in Weymouth? Yeah. Oh, okay. Nice beach. Uh, Alright, so what, yeah. what's the tides like today then? Today tides... Very interesting. Now it's a high tide. Okay. Around 10.37 and then afterward have a low tide until 10 o'clock. Oh, okay, so it's very interesting. That's yeah. unusual. It's going down at and about go. 2 o'clock and then coming up a little a bit, bit yeah. and then going down and staying down yeah. until much later. Where are we, Elsie? We are in Portland. Portland, okay. So that's Chesil Beach. That's the kind of like the river, the canal, whatever that is, the estuary thing that runs next to Jesuit Bridge. That one. There's a car park coming up, isn't there? Yeah, on the right. Yeah. So here we are. There's a lot of people going up and down. That's the car park. Beautiful day. Beautiful day. So I think we're gonna. I think it's a good day for fishing. Here we are, Portland. What you got there, Elsie? Oh, we got a cafe. Got this uh, fish tan, thirty-four pound ninety-nine. Yeah, we are. Do, um, we so it's, oh yeah, that'll come in handy. We'll just set it up. Yeah. So we've got rocks on this side, haven't we? This is very rocky. This beach is different to Chesil Beach, although this is Chesil Beach. The rocks are a bit bigger. Yeah. yeah, I think we might. It's a problem with snags here. The thing is, over there could be the conger eels and the sea basses because that's all rocky. And you know, you might even get a mackerel here. But that's the game plan anyway. We'll we'll see. Yeah. We we'll set this up. So this is a not a very tall beach tent, but I mean it's quite sturdy. Let's set it up. Now here it is tent all set up. We've got bags with stones. Four, four stone bags. I'll give you a quick walk around. Ventilation pocket at the rear. So the rig I'm using today is a pulley rig. Because there could be rocks in there. I know this is crazy trying to fish in this weather, but we'll try. I use a pulley rig. So anything tugs at it, it'll drag the weight up and away from the snake, hopefully. Right, so I've got, what is it, the 23rd of August. It's been stormy the last week. And uh, I've got a gripper led out, a 175 gram red gripper lead with a uh, kind of soft breakaway wire and uh, I've got what's left of my worms and I've tipped it off with squid okay so we're watching this and we're under shelter this thing looks like it can take a bit of a beating from the wind uh, which is great so we're just waiting Waiting, waiting, waiting. I'm hoping for a big giant tug from a uh, conger eel or something like that. So there's my rod out there. Another view. Got anything to say, Elsie? Uh, have a nice day. Enjoy. We're having it's a nice day. It's windy weather. It's windy. <laughs> it's going to be 20 miles an hour. I don't know how it ended up like this. 25. <laughs> 25 miles an hour, it looks like yeah. it's a storm or something. Yeah, bring out the storm every time. <laughs> no worries. This is, uh, at least there's no swimmers, right? 
I think a swimmer would be swept out to the Atlantic Ocean if they tried today. <laughs> Don't say that, it's just choking. <laughs> no, well, no, it would be. It would be very dangerous to swim. Yeah. Which kind of make, I don't you, can't, you can't swim here, it's dangerous. No, yeah. it's very steep, you can't swim here, it's very steep, you go straight down, you can see it. Yeah, don't swim here, you need to go to uh, the Wave Mock Beach or, or, or Bond Mock, some kind of um, real beach. Yeah, this is uh, for senior yeah. walking and uh, uh, seaside. Sightseeing and uh, maybe there's some big bass at Congaree when it calms down a bit. I think when it comes down a bit, we might get lucky. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. That's it. We got it. Hello, welcome. <laughs> Amazing. Five minutes in this. Five minutes in this. Sea brim. Sea brim is beautiful. Wow. Fantastic. Well done. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, I can't believe we got Here we go! Oh, yeah, not bad. Thank you! Well done. But you got fish on, Elsie, look. Look how that rod is shaking. It's like doing some weird things, not yet. Yes, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Wind your hand to it. Don't hit it. Wind it in, wind it in. Hold the rudder, hold the rudder. Wind it, wind it. Don't stop. Wind it, hold the rudder, hold the rudder. Uh. See if it's not, not very snaggy, I think you missed it, you missed it. There's no fish there, all right, we'll get the next one.
large conger eel, that's what I'm hoping for. Look at that boat. bound up on the top. So when I put it down two seconds later it was shaking so I can't imagine unless there's a giant conga that can take all that in one go. And if that was the case, I've got my bait runner on you just this look like got something. I've been here some sort of animal out there, maybe a seal. Yeah. Where that thing is out there, it looks his fins are too narrow for a uh, seal. It looks a bit more like a killer whale. It's black. Look, you can see it. That's no seal. Look at that. See it? Got a very narrow fin. Oh, it's a penguin. That's what it is. Very narrow dorsal fin, pectoral fin. I can't work out what it is. Never know, look at it. Oh, it's just... It's tuna. Dolphin!
So how's it been, Elsie? Oh, been really good today. Uh, the cod conger eel and the sassy, and then finding out the like a baby killer whale. Baby um, killer whale could be a whale. I looked at it, it had very large eyes. I couldn't work out what it was. Could be a tuna. I'm not even sure. What's that? Dead floating around. Didn't look like a fish though. We had large eyes. Maybe yeah. a penguin maybe? Oh, I don't know. Oh, yeah. It had like narrow thins, narrow thins with bumps on it. Like a humpback whale. But then how would a humpback whale is much bigger than that? Yeah, if someone knows just let us know. <laughs> someone knows, yeah. It could be a seal. Oh, I don't know. I filmed it anyway. It's in there. So I did everything today. Yeah, if I quite good this area. I think, um, yeah, less people, less people here swimming and uh, quite lots of uh, people fishing here. Uh, the parts of uh, windy but so far overall quite good today, yeah. Hi. Yeah, beware of the waves, yeah, quite, quite high so you need to watch out yeah, especially at Cheshire Bridge, you will, <laughs> you will roll out away. Anyway, just to let you know, is it alright Elsie, if I squeeze my other video into your video, I went and did some carp fishing, is that alright? Okay. Yeah. Right, so, just watch me do carp fishing now on the lake. See you later. Bye now. Right, I'm back on this lake that you can't ledger on. Remember I caught that carp last time when I was setting up my bivvy. Now, it hasn't been fishing well. I've been uh, around this region, especially in the lakes. So on the prolific catfish lake, it's not been good. On this lake, I've heard someone catch a few bream up that way, on top of that lake. Uh, someone didn't really catch over here it's a bit breezy it is August the 20th it just feels a bit inclement has been a bit rainy last few days and that may upset them it's been sunny all day today for a change uh, weather is about 20 degrees centigrade 22 I'm in the shade here helped by this big old tree so I'm not gonna get blasted by the Sun and um, I am going to be testing uh, now. I just want to be, a, you know, just hopefully LC doesn't mind. I'm sneaking my a video in between one of her ones, so hope she doesn't mind me doing this. So what am I doing here? I am going to be testing out a traditional method, the way I fish method feeder, using a cage, compared to the new kind of compressed using uh, pellets type of method feeding uh, with a little bit of flavor flavor added additives as well so that's what I want to be doing and I'm going to be using how I would do it using very thin kind of six pound line and to the more modern way maybe go up to 10 10 pound line with a thinner trace and uh, we should compare results on the right hand rod I think I'm going to use the newer method on the left hand rod I'll be using ground bait and more the way I would normally do it let's see let's just make a comparison I just hope LC doesn't mind me sneaking in a video in, in amongst her videos right by doing it by the book the new modern feed, feeder method uh, soaking it pre-soaking it so this is the me modern method feeder I'm even going to put some this F1 Sonu bait in it and I'll be using this as an inline method feeder. So, what oily looks like. Nice bit, nice bit of uh, flavour enhancer. I'm just going to leave that to soak, add a little bit more water. Now I'm going to drain it off. I'm going to actually not waste that smell as this smells a lot like um, cream solder smells a lot like it yep cream solder so that's in there mixing with all of it in, in, the, in a minute or so I'll put the lid on I'll drain the water off and, that, and I'll leave that just to kind of 
be ready to use in about 10 minutes. So I'm actually going to keep all that flavouring and I've got my lid on. There's holes in the box. I'm just going to tip it upside down let it drain into there. I'm going to use that juice on the bottom to make more ground bake, more traditional ground bake because I'm not wasting any of that gorgeous flavour. Right, so am I preparing a new type of feeder, effort feeder, so that's a size 12 barbless hook and I am going to be sticking to my guns and using maggots today. So maggot goes on. I don't know how well this fella is going to be liking to be compressed in here so officially it goes in there in the indentation and um, I start to fill fill this up like so and uh, bring this down it doesn't really matter if the line's a bit longer so it doesn't matter uh, if I've got that long way it doesn't matter Oops, so kind of squidging out. This is the stuff that. Oh no! There's not worked the way I want it to. Oh, of course, it's pushed it on the wrong way. Silly me. Silly me, teething troubles, teething troubles. Bear with me. You know, like that. Oh, lost my maggot. And there it goes. Get in there like that. A bit more in there like that. Probably too much. Silly me. I stuck the back on it, and it should come out like that. Pull that a bit tight. There it is. <laughs> it was kind of attractive. Oh, I can't really throw them out at the same time like in sea, like a, when I do sea fishing because that maggot might fall off. So I'm just going to throw the right hand right out right now. Yeah. Of course that's going to be tangled up. Bear with me. I'll do the left hand one as soon as possible. Alright, so that cast it out quite well. We've got corn mixed with ground bait, and this ground bait is river ground bait from Decathlon. And I'm going to fill it up with maggots. Make sure you don't escape. This has worked really well for me in the past. Would it work today? That's the thing. Put the lid on it as you like. Not too much, won't be able to cast it. Make sure I've got hook bait on. And this hook is slightly smaller. Razor sharp. It is a slightly finer hook and it's a size 14 I know there's carp in this lake I'm just going to leave it like that and just chuck it in just like that Whoop, there's the camera lens I'm just going to leave it like this and throw it in just like that well, both of these are very good baits Whatever the um, pellets are, the mini pellets, like a fish meal, I guess. Not taking that too far. People who live across there complaining. So 
the witch is going to work better. Ground bait. Oh. Ground bait corn. Oh. This new pellet stuff. For me anyway, it's new. Right, okay. There we go, bait box lids on again, don't want them rats getting to it. See this one. And that's it. So it might we'll do a tally a score of how many gets which board gets what. I don't know if it's the perch or anything, but just two minutes after just throwing it in, beep 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 on the right hand rod. Probably, um, I'm not sure, maybe a perch. Went across my line, I thought, oh no, I should have just let it go, but it just took off with it. Right, <coughs> I've um, retied slightly thicker line onto my hook length. Now, this is the end of a tapered shock leader, and I can't remember what uh, poundage it was. I think, was it 10? Possibly, it started off as 10, uh, so that's 10 pounds. This is the very end of it, so it's 10 pounds. And look how I've tied that knot, it's a knotless knot. And this is exactly how I tied the other one I had managed to hook that carp and went to trick it on the six pound line. So this is slightly tougher grade line and it's 
and look how that knot is on the knotless knot with the hook pointing kind of inwards and I think this is going to be quite effective the hooking the, the fish and the, on the top lip as it goes for it grabs it and then top lip anyway I'm going to get that back out I'm getting bites on both ones really but on the left one's mainly perch so fingers crossed I deliberately went back to Maggot to save the blank on the left hand knot. So, I don't know if you can, I can count this uh, perch as one all, I guess you can, one all. So it didn't blank. See if it's gone. You know, there's plenty of perch out there. I'd be gutted if the maggot is still there. Nope, all gone. Good choice. Perch City now. Ten pound plus carp or tiny little perch. They kind of weird. I knew. I know you can get carp with double maggot. I mean, they go for little tiny baits. They rather go for tiny little meat, meaty baits. And a giant halibut pellet. They're weary of them. Okay, I went back to the maggot on this right hand rod. Had the run and it snapped my leader line. Uh, that was not good. That was a big fish as well. So two, one. I think two to that side, one to that side. Well, I'm only counting ones who I think it's a carp. So two carp, one miss. Maybe. Right. So decided to go down in one rod. Bites. And I think if I get the next bite. I'm going to lose it again. Two rods out. You can have two rods out and you've got no rods. So I'm going to tie another piece of six pound line on. Fresh piece of six pound line. And I'm going to show, show you how quick, quickly show you how I. This is the Ron Thompson line that I bought from Leicester in 2002. Very strong. I must admit, Ron Thompson's stuff is very, very good. All of his stuff is very, very good. Both of his. So this is how I did it. I think I go this end with a hook. 